Welcome to Firebird Word. I'm Sky. And I'm Daniel. And we have the announcements for you today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a minute of silence. Today's song was The Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. Now over to Admin. Good morning, Chaparral High School. I'm here with some very cool kids this morning. Um, today, we're recognizing some of our smartest kids in the senior class based on their results on the PSAT. Um, some of them don't even know why they're here, but they might have guessed by now. Um, you guys might know that on Friday we recognized three students for being recognized as National Merit semifinalists. Those students are Andreas Abibi, Ashley Fu, and Caitlin Kim. But in addition to those three semifinalists, we had seven commended scholars. And those commended scholars are being commended because of their high scores on the PSAT last year. And so I'm going to state their names, and some of them are here with me today. We've got Trey Baum, Luis Chiapetti, Gavin Cuniff, Raghav Gupta, Gavin Higgins, Aaron Pack, and Broderick Schmidgall. Uh, Broderick was also in Little Shop of Horrors. Congratulations to all these students. Um, we've got the PSAT coming up uh, before too long. I don't remember the date. Uh, but hopefully if you're a junior, you've signed up for it already uh, and you're going to try to do as well as you possibly can. Juniors who take the PSAT can qualify for national merit status uh, and we're hoping to get a bunch more semifinalists based on this year's results. Um, that's all for me. Congratulations to these kids. Happy Monday and back to the anchors. Interested in playing girls soccer? Come to the informational meeting Monday, September 30th at 1250 during lunch in Coach Carlson's room. E206. Please remember that this Wednesday is an early release day. And now, over to a guest. What's up, Shop Town? It's Stugo, and it's also homecoming week. Guys, it's Spirit Week, so make sure you're dressing up. Today is obviously PJ Day. Tomorrow is Jersey vs. Jersey Shore. Wednesday is USA Day. Thursday is Visco vs. Skater. And Friday is school or grade colors. If you need more inspo, we will post that on the Shop Stugo Instagram account. Make sure you guys follow Shaps Dugo and send in your pictures of what you guys are wearing. Um, also, if you guys are in a club or you know someone in a club, make sure they are signing up for the homecoming parade. Deadlines are really soon, and we need as many people as we can get. And guys, since the dance is this Saturday, the tickets are $45 this week, and make sure to remember to fill out a guest form if you're bringing anyone before the dance. You can buy them with cash in the bookstore or on Touchbase. Definitely make sure to go. Now back to our anchors. Riley Meyer and Kyle will be on a, a Tuesday sports report this week. The one sport playing today is badminton at Desert Mountain at 4, so make sure to show up and cheer them on. Now over to a guest. Hey guys, it's Shaft Choir. Thanks to everyone who came to our car wash. We had a great turnout. Just a reminder that today is the last day to sign up for a coffee house audition. The sign-ups close today at 5, so be sure to sign up and get an audition. Now back to the anchors. Do you know when the first Ashes newspaper will be out this, this year? No, I do not. Well, watch this. The newspaper is back and better than ever. Volume 2 of the newspaper is coming to your fourth period. Here's what you can expect to see. Student News addresses student parking on campus and how its differences from last year affect students today. Check out this article on Homecoming. Look at the Spirit Week's themes and students' anticipation of the event. Read about the pros and cons of our new phone policy this year and how students feel about it. Find out about Jerry, the new rabbit in Miss McCall's science room, and his amazing debut as Chaparral. In the article, they used to wear what? 
learn about the way people used to dress and the social implications of historical clothes. The comic is continuing this year. After leaving off on a cliffhanger, it continues right after the events of last year. Read the comic section printed on the newspaper, and then scan the QR code to watch the rest of it on YouTube. And that's just a taste of what we have to offer for the first issue of the newspaper this year. Expect to see them delivered in your fourth period this week. And now over to a guest. Hey everyone, we're the Connect to Health Club. We have a meeting today. Miss Burner's Room Eats 11, be there. Yeah, we've got an event Friday. We're going to be doing some Feed My Starving Children volunteering. Uh, if you want to learn more, it's free volunteering hours, so just show up and we'll tell you all about it. And now back to the anchors. The event main campus tour will be Tuesday, November 5th from approximately 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. It will be free to attend for any interested 10th grader. The permission slip is digital and must be completed through Parent Square before October 31st. And now over to our final guest. Hi, welcome to Fashion Club, where you show your passion for fashion. This will be our second meeting and we're going to talk about Milan Fashion Week. The meeting will be in A330 in Madame Moore's room at lunch. Please stop by. Bye. Sign up to give the gift of life at the October 16th blood drive. All who are 16 plus sign up through the QR codes on posters around campus. And that's it for Firewood Word. Remember, SHAP stands for compassion, honesty, agility, and perseverance. I'm wearing pajamas. And I'm wearing sweatpants. Stay, Stay classy, classy Chaparral. Chaparral.